Boom, chanker, lads and lasses. How's it going, everybody? It's the Flying Pig here on Flying Pig United with some breaking news for you. And you know what? It's some pretty gash-breaking news as well. I'm going to be totally honest with you, lads and lasses. You, you, you obviously can tell by the title of the video, so it's already broken. Um, but uh, Harry Maguire has been found guilty of three different charges that were um, that were held against him there. One for aggravated assault, another one for resisting arrest, and another one for repeated attempts of bribery, guys. So he's actually been found guilty under the court of law, in the court of law, of these three crimes, my friends. What an absolute bloody shit show this is, my guys. Oh, no. That's the last thing we need. This guy cost £80 million. Pounds. He's our £80 million pounds slabby centre-back. What the hell's going to happen now? Is he even going to be playing for United this season? Is this his career freaking over? You know, I don't know what's going on. Look, the fact is, it's still a little bit cloudy about, about what's happened. I mean, I've heard all sorts of stuff. I've heard there was a bunch of English fans goading and taunting Maguire and his friends and family. I've heard there was an Albanian gangster who stabbed his sister in the arm, which is what's led to him losing his temper, obviously. Well, not losing his temper, but um, defending his sister and then going overboard with the, with the authorities. Um... I'm hearing all sorts of different things, guys, but the fact of the matter is, Harry Maguire, at this stage in time, it's been reported by all major news outlets that Harry Maguire is guilty of three different charges. I've got a tweet here from Martha Kellner, who's a correspondent here for Sky News, sports correspondent. She says, Pro prosecution alleged that once at the police station, Harry Maguire said, do you know who I am? I am the captain of Manchester United. I am very rich. I can give you money. I can pay you. Please Please let us go. Now, this is alleged, right? Now, if there's a, a recording of this, obviously bribery is a serious crime. Um, but, I mean, this is just an allegation at the moment, but he's been found guilty of it. So the only way he can be, be found guilty of it, I mean, look, it, it says prosecution allege. But if he's been found guilty of it, then that means that there must be an uh, audio recording of this, something along that description, because you cannot just prosecute somebody for something like that without due uh, evidence, I would imagine, unless it's just the hearsay of the local authorities. So... Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. This is terrible for the football club. It is. It is. You know, our captain involved in um, in criminality here, getting in a, in a, in a fracas. We don't really know exactly what, what why. We need to hear his side of it. But at the moment in time, this is a big, big serious blot on the landscape of Manchester United in this window. Not only are we struggling and scratching around to sign players, but we might actually lose our buddy £80 million centre-back at this stage. This guy might be starting for buddy Wormwood Scrubs FC next season, alongside buddy Adam Johnson or something. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, what about, uh, you know, Mean Machine? It's Vinnie Jones, isn't it? The modern-day version with the slab on his head, man. Oh, fuck. Anyway... It's Gash. Quaffle videos with a comment here brings up a very good point. It says, would he face time? This is the thing. If Harry Maguire's been found guilty of three different charges, of which three are very, very serious, you know, aggravated assault, resisting arrest, and repeated attempts at bribery. I mean, one of them's, I suppose, only really serious. Um, the bribery one, I mean, come on, you know, if he's pissed out of his head and he says, look, I play for United, I freaking, you know, let me sort this out. Is that really a grounds to do him for, for bribing the police? I mean, like, come on. And that's if he said that anyway. It's not a good look for the football club right now, though, is it, guys? And he's had a nightmare, to be fair, putting himself in this situation to begin with. Say what you want about how he's handled the situation, whatever the situation was. Defending his family from gangsters, whatever it may be. He shouldn't have put himself in this situation in the first place. He shouldn't be trawling the streets of Mykonos, a bloody party capital of the world, during a, a, a pandemic, a global pandemic, putting yourself in these positions, getting yourself into trouble. You shouldn't be doing this if he's at home reading a book. You know, on a Friday night, like Eric Bailly, then he's not going to get himself into these bloody troubles, is he? You think Juan Mata's going out there glassing people up on a bloody street at night time? It's not the behaviour of a captain. It's not the behaviour of a professional footballer. It's not the behaviour of anyone, really. I'm a twat. Do you see me out partying, getting into fracas? No! Because it's a little maturity that's taken place. He's not a teenager, this guy. He's 26 years, 27 years of age. There's no excuses, guys, really, if he's done this. 
<sighs> but at the same time, you know, the, the reason I say that, look, if he's defending his family, fair enough, okay, I get that. But you cannot deny my point. He shouldn't have been there in the bloody first place, should he? He should have been in the first place, man. Um, <clears throat> Janice Newton comments, Sky Sports articles say something about his sister being injected with a rape drug. They're lucky he didn't kill him. Yeah, no. Well, that's what I'm saying. If that is actually what has happened, if he has, he, you know, from the reports we understand, his sister was stabbed in the arm. So I'm pretty sure anybody would do the same for their sister. Like Stephen United says, anybody would do that for their sister. I completely understand that. I completely understand that. And I back him. I like the fact that he's you know defending his family but what i do not back is him putting himself in that situation to begin with guys that's not a responsible behavior from our captain is it you can't pretend that it is he shouldn't be in that situation where he's in an environment where somebody can inject his sister with a bloody rape drug are you serious maybe he should go to some slightly more high-end establishments you know what i mean this kid is not exactly he's not exactly short of a few bob is he so, I don't know why he's knocking around the local dive clubs in Mykonos, but apparently that's what he's doing anyway. <sighs> right, get your comments and thoughts in, lads and lasses. I want to hear from you. Please do us a favour if you're tuning in right now and smash that thumbs up button. Give this video a cheeky little like. That would help us out tremendously. And get your thoughts and opinions in. But man, oh man, Harry Maguire found guilty of three charges for his night out uh, in, in, um, in Mykonos. <sighs> Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Right, Lee Matthews comments, Hi, it should be at Butlins with the family. There you go. That's what I'm saying, Lee Matthews. There's no real reason to be out in the party capital of Greece doing what he's doing. Um, doing what he was doing, I should say. And he was pissed out of his head. You know, you put yourself in these dodgy situations, dodgy things will happen. That's just the, That just stands to reason, doesn't it? Nobody ever got glassed in the face sitting at home reading a book on a Friday night. I'm just saying that now. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, all the bad stuff that happens, it usually happens when you go out there and you put yourself in an alcohol-fueled environment. That's usually what happens, and it may not be your fault. You just might come across some other douchebags who are alcohol-fueled or, or bad people. But the likeliness of that happening is increased tenfold if you put yourself in that situation. And look, everyone's entitled to a night out. Don't get me wrong. Everyone's entitled to go out on the lash every now and again. I get that. He's just a lad at the end of the day from Sheffield. I completely understand. Um, but when you are the captain of Manchester United, I do think that that holds a certain level of responsibility um, that that you have to respect and you have to adhere to. And unfortunately, he's not done that. And do you know what? Even if he is defending his family, even if he is defending his sister who's been injected with something, or even if there's, there's, there's no fault of his own to how this initiated and how this actual incident started, he has to take the responsibility for putting himself in that situation in the first place. So, uh, to me, Harry Maguire now should absolutely not be the United captain. Um, even though he's defending his sister, even though he's doing this business, to be put in that situation and to uh, potentially have bribed authorities as well. You know, if they if they found him guilty of bribing authorities, then surely there's reasonable grounds of evidence to suggest that he did indeed try to bribe authorities. Which, you know, I spoke to my mum about this uh, earlier, and she was like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. He's a United player. Why wouldn't he say that? Which is fair enough. <laughs> So I don't think, you know, it's like, you know, if he's had a few beers and he said that, I, don't, I think they're making that out to be a lot worse than that actually is anyway. But anyway, yeah. So what do you guys think about it? Get your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Smash that thumbs up button. Do leave a like on it. One good thing, two good things may come out of this though, guys. I think, okay, Slabby's a decent leader. He's had an okay season for Manchester United. But I think we all know the true leader within United side is Bruno Fernandes. So maybe it just gives Ollie the impetus to go out there and make the change and say, look, Slabby, sorry, mate, you can't keep, you can't stay captain now. We'll have to give it to Bruno Fernandes. And then the rightful captain of our side, the actual leader out there on the pitch who's pulling the side and pushing the side, he will actually then be the captain. So that's one good thing that will come out of it. The other good thing that may come out of it is we might actually have to go and sign a top quality buddy centre-back, lads and lasses. And I hate to do Harry like that because we did pay him £80 million for him. He did have a great World Cup. He did have a great season uh, at Leicester the season before we signed him. And he had a okay season this season too. But I don't think you could say that he's he's reached a world-class standard this year as a centre-back. A lot of errors, you know, that he is a slow player. There's, um, there's some things at question there. The partnership the tandem partnership there with Victor Lindelof it's no good is it so I do think that we need to improve in that area and get a top quality world-class centre-back in there anyway and I did think that that 
before this incident even occurred. But the player that I was actually looking to replace with a world-class centre-back would actually be Victor Lindelof, not Harry Maguire. So it doesn't really help us that much. But the, but still, it might actually force the Glazer's hand and Woodward hand, Woodward's, hand, Woodward's withered hand, take my strong hand, child, um, to go out there in the window and do something and bring in a top-quality centre-back this window because otherwise we're going to be up shit creek. Uh, with a shitty paddle as well, you know, Eric Bidey's there at the football club, um, Twansy, we've got Lindelof, but, you know, with no Harry Maguire there, there's going to be a gaping chasm at the back there that we're going to have to fill. Um, so I think that that is a must. Maybe Deo Upper Meccano might be a good idea. <sighs> Right then, let's read your comments, guys. I want to see what you guys think about it. Thank you so much for joining me today for this little random breaking news video. There's about 100 of you legends tuned in here, so sensation of you for joining me. Smash that like button. Do leave a thumbs up and get your thoughts in. TRS comments, rip Harry Maguire. We will remember you. So do you think this is the end for Harry Maguire's career then as a professional footballer? I don't think so. I think that... Worst case scenario, look, we don't know uh, what the deal is in terms of sentencing and things like that now. For all we know, the, these are sort of like misdemeanor counts. He's going to get a hefty fine and he'll be on his way back to Manchester United training for all we know right now. Um, as far as I'm aware, anyway, unless there's more, you know, this is the thing. I've just, oh, let's have another read of the article here, guys. So, sorry, the news is updated. Since I saw the breaking news, there's been an update in the article here on Sky Sports is where I'm reading it, if you want to go and check it out, too. Um, but I just want to go through this now and read a few more of the details that have come out now. Because, of course, we were just going off that initial information that he's been found guilty of aggravated assault and resisted arrest and, and repeated attempts of bribery. So, let's see what, 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 um, what. It says then, so he was convicted of uh, all the charges against him by a court on the island of Syros. Convicted of all the charges against him by a court on the island of Syros. He has arrested, <coughs> excuse me, he was arrested with his brother and a friend after a fight broke out while he was on holiday in Mykonos. Over claims his sister was injected with a suspected rape drug. That is absolutely freaking messed up. No wonder he stuck the slab on them and lost his cool. And if the authorities had turned up, you know, I hope he, I, honestly, if, 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 if his sister was injected by a um an albanian gangster with a date rape drug then i hope slabby Maguire stuck that easter island slab right on him i'm going to be honest with you now because that is despicable man the court had been asked to postpone proceedings over the incident which happened last thursday during a family getaway but the trial went ahead in the absence of all three defendants Maguire, his brother joe and their friend christopher sharman um speaking after the verdict the lawyer who assisted with prosecution told sky news the victims are still waiting for an apology he said when you're a sportsman and a role model you have to accept what you've done and say sorry until today we haven't had that they have said it's all the fault of the policeman this was not accepted by the court the victims and the policeman were assaulted the only thing they want is an apology he said the victims were totally appalled by mcguire and his co-defense co-defendant's behavior so that's not good you've got a few greek policemen here saying that really all they needed to do is just act like gentlemen and give them an apology and this could have been all brushed under the carpet but because of their absolute insubordinance and english loutish drunken behavior and the fact that they have physically assaulted these policemen as well meant that really that's not going to happen. The prosecution alleged that once Maguire, who um, <clears throat> who has been named in Gareth Southgate's latest England squad, despite the ongoing court case arrived at the police station, he said, Do you know who I am? I am the captain of Manchester United. I am very rich. I can give you money. I can pay you. Please, let's go. So what does that mean? It's alleged that he said that. So where's the voice recording of this shit then? Plain close police officers intervened to try to calm the situation, but the Englishman did not, and one of the defendants said, F the police, and one punched an officer, it was claimed. Holy shit. Well, it doesn't say which one, does it? Does It, it doesn't say Harry Maguire's punched an officer there. Uh, the trial went ahead against the wishes of Maguire's defence team with his lawyer, Alexis and Angostarkis telling the court in Syros that two Albanian men had approached Maguire's sister Daisy, who fainted immediately after being injected with an unknown substance. That's disgusting, guys. No wonder Harry Maguire went mental. You know, no wonder Harry Maguire's gone freaking nuts. He's gone proper Liam Neeson. Do you know what I mean? There's some pen potential freaking like an Albanian human trafficking situation going on there. Some date rape antics. No wonder I'd have stuck him to a chair and given him the electricity. Just like... Liam Neeson did in that movie. So fair play to Harry Maguire. The more I'm reading this, the more I'm thinking fair play to the lad. And it doesn't say that Maguire punched a police officer. It says somebody punched a... Oh, hang on. <laughs> it says it's alleged that Maguire was then kicked in the leg by the police officers who told him your career is over. Well, this seems like very, very 
varying different stories here, doesn't it? Which I guess is what you would imagine. But the police, would they really be telling tales like this just to try and do a professional footballer? Would, I know, look, I know there is police corruption in all walks of life in all countries, but would a few policemen on the island of Mykonos really have it in for Harry Maguire that much that they would fabricate this whole story? It's very hard to believe, isn't it, my friends? I don't think that would necessarily be the case. So... Anyway, the defence argued that they were breaking away to make a phone call, but the police officer said he did not see them make one. The court heard one officer received first aid while trying to make an arrest because Maguire got angry when he realised he was handcuffed and tried to break away. The officer who handcuffed Maguire said the footballer pushed him hard, causing him to fall backwards and hurt his back and suffer a leg injury. He said he was injected with painkillers and took the next day off the roof. What a freaking puss! Are you serious? He's pushed you, mate! Man the hell up, bro! Like, okay, fair enough. Oh, you fall over and hit you hard. What's this? Another bloody uh, Decanio on the referee situation? Bit of simulation on the go there. Really? Okay, then. Suffered a leg injury. What bloody leg injury? You've got a tiny little hematoma, suck down or hematoma, bro. It's a bruise. Man up! Anyway, injected with painkillers and took the next day over. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> anyway, a third police officer gave a similar account of events in court. Earlier, Mr. Anangastakis said the list of charges was finalised on Monday, so we only received a hard copy of the file on Tuesday morning, two hours before the... Before the trial, that sounds strange. Maguire, who was not present in court, pleaded not guilty, denying charges of aggravated assault and attempted bribery of an official. So there we go, guys. There's a lot more information that's just come out. Obviously, when I jumped on it, it was just breaking news. But as we can see from that article there, there is a heck of a lot more information that's come out. It's alleged that his sister, like we were talking about early on, has been um, uh, injected with a date rape drug. I mean, in which case... I can't really defend, you know, like Harry Maguire has to do what he's got to do to protect his family 100%. Now, the business with the policeman afterwards, I'm just going to say this right now. And um, I want to put an asterisk on this and say, this, these are just my personal initial thoughts. But something seems a little bit fishy about this, my friends. Uh, I'm not I'm not saying necessarily there's police corruption there, but something, something sounds a little bit strange with, uh, what, with what I've heard from that, you know. Um, Harry Maguire, at the worst, it sounds like he pushed a policeman, and the policeman's gone down out of the pallet, of bloody Decanio, uh, who, who, uh, who was it? David freaking was his face. Anyway, um, gone down like a sack of spuds, <laughs> and, um, and yeah, that's the only thing that I can see that Harry Maguire, Harry Maguire's really done wrong here. From judging by this article, like I said, there's still more information to come out. Um, but the only thing that he's done wrong is have an argument with the police, uh, which, to be fair to them, if somebody stabbed his sister with a date rape drug, he's not going to be in the most best and jovial of moods when the police do eventually turn up, is he? That just stands to reason. Um, so, look, they've had to deal with him. Of course, he's... Sounds like he was very confrontational. Sounds like his uh, his his friends and family who were with him, his brother Joe and and his other mate there, Chris. It sounds like they were very front confrontational. It's alleged that one of them struck a police officer, and it's alleged that Harry Maguire pushed a police officer down to the ground, causing him to suffer an injury. Right, okay then. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. What do you guys think about it then? Get in the comments section below. Thank you very much for joining me. Do you know what? I still think Bruno Fernandes should be the captain of Manchester United anyway, and this is probably a good opportunity to take it off him. But if that's true, if if he's just defending his family uh, from a from a potential horrendous situation, then I can only really I can only really credit the lad. I'm sorry. Apart from saying that he shouldn't be in that situation to begin with, and that is another reason why he shouldn't be the captain of United anymore because he has shown a lack of responsibility here. But I'm not putting him. He's not like Ronnie Cray or anything. This guy. He's not a proper gangster or nothing. He's just trying to defend his family from a horrendous situation. So I fully agree with him. I I, I back him, but I do not back himself for putting him in that situation. It's not captain's behaviour. So he shouldn't be the captain of United anymore that's what I think I truly believe that and I uh, was well up for him staying the captain just simply because I did not think it was right for Bruno to come in in January and take the captaincy off of Harry at this stage
I think that would have been a knock to the confidence of Harry Maguire for Solskjaer to do that in this summer. But right now, as of now, I think that he shouldn't have put himself out there in that situation. So that's cause enough to take the captaincy off of him and give it to Bruno Fernandes. What do you guys think about it? Get your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank you for joining me. Smash that thumbs up button, lads and lasses. Leave a little cheeky like rating if you can. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. We're, we're well on our way to 25,000 subscribers, lads and lasses. We're not far off now. So if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please do hit that subscribe button that would help us out tremendously to reach our goal which hopefully will start before the new season does uh fergie 99 thank you for your comment buddy he says this is the perfect time to remove him as captain literally a blessing in disguise plus i hope he's not defending himself in court i'm I, if so i hope he's better on the pitch he, he needs to plead the fifth doesn't he this guy um yeah, no, I hear you, bro. He doesn't. Let's hope he's not defending himself, man. Let's hope he's got buddy Robert Kardashian or someone defending him on this one so we can get him off and he can come back into our team. Because like we say, we don't actually know what's going to happen with the sentencing and stuff now. Like, is he going to have to spend a couple of years in the schlammer? I very much doubt that. I don't know why I turned into Louis van Gaal when I shed that. But um, is he going to have to spend a bit of time in prison? <sighs> Bloody hell. Zabadino says, right, the lawyers came up with that one. There you go. So in terms of what they've said and what they've alleged against the police in, in, in defence, this is the thing. The lawyers have come up with certain things. All the good names were taken, comments. Yes, his ego. He went full Ronnie Pickering. <laughs> <laughs> saying, do you know who I am? Trying to bribe them, etc. He's guilty, end of. I'm Ronnie Pickering! I'm Ronnie Pickering! <laughs> what a legend. But anyway, um, yeah, may, well, look, if he's done that, then okay, that is pretty, you know, it's pretty deplorable behaviour, isn't it? But at the same time, he is Harry Maguire, he is Manchester United player. Somebody's just stabbed his sister. Emotions are running high. Emotions are running wild. Surely, he's probably not thinking too clearly, is, is what I'm saying, guys. And, and would he really have stopped to suggest, would he really believe that they're just going to let him off? But maybe he said it in a drunken super. Um, but I don't really truly believe that he, he was trying to bribe authorities. Um, Voodoo Chili 333. Oh, no. Gungshi in the house. He says, Smalldong, come back. There you go. Chris Smalldong over at Roma. Is he going to be the man to come into United side this summer? That's a very good point you made there, Gungshi. A little while we were talking about the need for these players to go. Players like Phil Jones. Players like Chris Smalling. Um, and I think... This morning's a decent player, actually, and he's shown that over at Roma again, and he has been a good player for us for years. But if we want to make leaps and moves in in the in terms of progression of the side, we have to improve these players. But look, this morning he's a great option right now. Do I have faith in our board to go out there and sign a replacement? A better replacement? Somebody that can actually improve us now that maybe Maguire's not gonna be in the side for a bit? We'll see. No, I don't have any faith in the Glazers doing that whatsoever. What I do have faith in them is them bringing, <laughs> is them bringing Chris Smalling back on loan. Oh, nice one, Gungshi. I've just seen your, your, your PayPal payments come through here as well. He says, oh, Harry, what the F were you thinking? Melter of the year. <laughs> Nightmare, Gungshi. He's had an absolute melt bag of the moment there. It's a big shame. It's a big shame. I just hope that nothing really too sinister happens in terms of his sentencing. Hopefully it's a light sentence. Hopefully they do take all, all things into consideration, such as uh, the reason for the fracas to begin with, if that alleged reason is indeed true. And this is what we're talking about, guys. It's so... It's almost redundant to talk about it until all the facts have been released. But the, the point is, it's just two sides of a different story here. And uh, really, the facts probably will never get released to the point that we'll know what actually went on. It's the police's uh, account of the situation. It's potentially the, the victim's account of the situation, whether that be Harry Maguire, his sister. Um, it's the uh, it's the other gang that are involved here that's had the fights. Um, uh thoughts and opinions on what happened as well so it's just all the different sides of the story we'll probably never will know but thank you so much for that there gungas what a top lad he says hope when all the facts come out it isn't that bad that's right we'll see what happens he could end up in the schlammer which would be gash man if harry Maguire ends up locked up behind bars for the start of manchester united new campaign oh my days what a calamity that will be for us even if it's just a short amount of time, because we know we don't have the depth in these positions that we so desperately need. KM Long comments, he thinks he is a big shot. Um, well, look, 
if that's true, if he has said that sort of stuff, he does sound like a bit of a bitty big bollocks big shot, doesn't he? And I don't like that, to be fair. Look, as I said, guys, strip him of the captaincy now because he put himself in that situation to begin with. Um, you know, like I said, there's certain players in the side that would just never be seen in that situation. I cannot imagine Bruno Fernandes being the family man that he is, putting himself out there in that situation in Mykonos with his family members surrounded by him where they could potentially get stabbed by an Albanian gangster. I'm just saying I don't see Bruno Fernandes doing that. No chance whatsoever, my friend. I don't see a lot, pretty much all the other players in the side, bar a couple, <laughs> doing that. I just don't see them doing that. So I think it's a bad judgment here from harry Maguire. it is a show uh showing that maybe his character is lacking a little bit there because he shouldn't be behaving like this especially when you're united captain and putting yourself in that situation he's in a nightmare um anaket mohan thank you very much for your comment here anaket he comments Maguire got a suspended sentence here a prison sentence of 21 months and 10 days suspended okay so he doesn't have to so that means he doesn't have to uh sorry Okay, Skaz News is a sentence on Sky Sports now. Big thank you so much, everybody, for keeping me up to date while this breaking news is going on. Here we go, guys. Thank you very much. He has been given a... Tw and thank you, Anaket. He's been given a 21 and 10... 21 month and 10 day prison sentence after being found guilty of aggravated assault, resistant arrest and repeated attempt. Suspended prison sentence, I should say. It says the sentence will be suspended because it is a first offence and charges will miss the meters. Come on, my son, get in there! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, that's good. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but I feel so much better now because I was worried that we weren't going to be about slabby. And all that I've said is true. I don't want him to be the captain anymore. I don't want him to, uh, to, to, you know, to, to just get away with this scot-free in terms of the club and uh, the fans. He's got to work his way back up now a little bit because I think he has had a nightmare here by, by being in this situation alone. Um, but at the same time, I'm very glad that we've got it. We paid 80 million quid for this guy. How ter terrible would it be if that was a 21 month and 10 day sentence? Um, <laughs> and it wasn't suspended. Can you just imagine that? Imagine if our star centre back there was actually in prison for the best part of two years. That'd be mental. So uh, I'm very happy that he's not in prison. But at the same time, he needs to sort himself out here. Harry Maguire, you've, you've had a nightmare, pal. Hang your head in shame, mate. Okay. Fair enough, you defended your family. I'm not going to discredit him for that. I'm not actually going to even discredit him for what's happened after that because I know if that happened to me and I was out and somebody did that to my sister, you, of course, you're not going to be the most rational of people for a good while after that. So I, look, I, I, I actually sympathize with Harry Maguire here because if that's happened, if that alleged um, assault on his sister is true, then I completely sympathize with Harry Maguire. I really do. And I feel bad that the assault, the, the police officers got assaulted and I do genuinely feel bad about that um but at the same time like i'm saying he's not thinking rationally here uh under those circumstances and i think you have to give somebody a little bit of leeway in that situation but he shouldn't have been there in the first place so strip him of the captaincy lads and lasses <laughs> What do you guys think then? Get in the comments. I want to hear from you. Thank you so much to everybody that's tuning in and stopping by and getting in here. Hit that like button and thank you for watching. Cress Wellsing comments, it's a blessing in disguise, Pig. He was an awful captain. There you go. Now it gives Solskjaer the reason to make the change to get rid of Harry Maguire as the captain and give it to Bruno Fernandes. It's an absolute, you're, you're spot on. It is a blessing. And people may, may disagree and think that Harry Maguire makes sense, more sense to be the captain. I've always actually liked a centre-back as a captain, but I do also like a midfielder as a captain. I think it's better um, maybe to be able to see the game a little bit more, and that's what a centre-back can do. Um, but in terms of leadership out there, like we said, I, I don't think he's got the same leadership qualities of a Bruno Fernandes that we've seen this season. Uh, first class game says, I think you're being very lenient on Maguire pig. Well, look, we'd like, okay, fair enough. If I was there and I've seen him, uh, give it the Billy big bollocks and say, Oh, you know, I'm a United player. Give me, I'll bribe you the, I'll give you the money. And I've seen what incident has occurred. Then maybe I'd have a better opinion of the situation. But to be honest with you, on the face of it, it sounds like he's defending his family. And, um, and I think stripping of him, the captaincy is enough for me. Um, he, you know, I'd much rather have him in the side than not. And it's as simple as that. It might be lenient, but that's how I view it. He shouldn't put himself in that situation to begin with. We're all human. We all make mistakes. You know what, first class gamer? To err is human, but to forgive is divine. And uh, I think that sometimes you've got to do that. 
I've done it multiple times recently with players at United, to be fair, because you sort of have to. Uh, Paul Pogba, I wiped the slate clean with Paul Pogba. To me, Paul Pogba's a spent force at United. A few months ago, I wiped the slate clean, prepared to give him a new opportunity at the football club. He's been he's been a bit inconsistent since then. Um, but still, that's what I mean. Like People deserve second chances in life, and Harry Maguire certainly deserves a second chance at Manchester United. Uh, what do you guys think? Anyway, maybe you disagree with me. Uh, Gung, she says, Cinnamon speaks from experience. Hey, true, man. I mean, that's that's the thing. You've got the shoe on the other foot. If you were in the line of duty uh, at working as a policeman and somebody, some drunken footballer uh, who's just got in a scrap for whatever reason, let's say we don't even know the reason, um, is being completely um, confrontational and they're pushing your colleagues and maybe one of them gets punched, of course it's no good is it it's not it's um it's a disgrace and if you're putting yourself in harm's way for the sake of some drunken prima donna overpaid footballer slabby melt then i can completely understand where you're coming from dude so yeah look i reserve my judgment until i know a little bit more about it <laughs> sitting on the fence uh, first class says, I only say that the allegations are pretty serious. Defending loved ones, I've heard that many times and been punched for no reason for doing my job. Hey, fair enough, dude. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. There you go, you know, but we don't know what's happened yet. So at the moment, it says they're alleged, but he's been found guilty of it. So how, how alleged can they be? Thank you very much for that, Matty the Rushmeister. Um, KM says, recap, pig. I just saw the stream. Oh, Harry Maguire has been found guilty of three different charges. Um, bribery. Uh, aggravated assault and resistant arrest and he's also been given a suspended prison sentence of 21 months and 10 days so that's just the, the summary really just to give you the, the conclusion of what's happened here so Harry Maguire is not going to face prison time it's a suspended sentence which means that he can return to Manchester United training can return and be a Manchester United side um, will he keep the captaincy probably not I don't think he deserves to keep the captaincy now he should be stripped in my eyes but that's the summary my friend get your thoughts and opinions in quickly I'm going to stick around for a few Few more minutes thanks to everybody that's watched this video hit that like button subscribe if you're new kiam long says if we sell the player ollie will have to play i don't think we're going to sell harry Maguire unless it unless it really does come out that harry Maguire stuck the nut or something on a policeman completely unprovoked and and you know with no basis or grounds at all then we'll see um the saint says city was guilty but not guilty <laughs> there you go uh, Cami H says, is that the new United top? No, it's not, mate. No, this is an old one. This is like over a decade old now, this one, mate. But to be fair, it's probably better than the new shite that they got out there now. Raymond Moore says, Harry should have just held the party at his home. Raymond Moore, the voice of reason, Raymond. Spot on. There's no good reason for him to be out there partying in the early hours of the morning in Mykonos, putting himself in harm's way, putting his family members in harm's way. There's no good reason for it. So for that very reason alone, he needs to be stripped of the captaincy. Um, JK for God, what's going on, man? He says, do you think this co this incident will negatively affect the squad? I don't see how it can positively affect the squad. Actually, if Bruno's given the captaincy, maybe that would positively affect the squad. But yeah, I don't see how it can, really. I think it's just going to be negative. It's not really going to be great for Harry Maguire, either going back in there. But maybe it will give him that chip on the shoulder that he needs. got something to prove. He's going to get a lot of stick for this, be it from rival fans, the media, whatever, for a long period of time. So it's about how he responds and bounces back from this one. But what do you guys think? Do you think that he should have been given a sentence, a proper sentence, if what we've heard is true? Do you think that he should be given the captaincy at United still, or should he have it stripped? Get your thoughts and opinions in, lads and lasses. <laughs> uh, Evander Matu comments, do you think Bruno should get captaincy and Pogba Vice? Hey, I do think uh, Bruno should get the captaincy. I don't think Pogba Vice captain my, myself, just based on how he has led the side over the last few years. I don't think he's really been that player that grabs a team by the scruff of the neck and leads by example out there. I'm not even convinced he's, I don't think he's the most vocal of players. I do believe United don't have the best bases for captains at the moment. We're lacking a little bit in that area. We have Bruno, what a leader. He picks himself as captain. David De Gea has been around the long club, uh, the club a long time. Experienced player, passionate. Only problem with David De Gea is he's been absolutely shite uh, by his high standards anyway for the last year or so. So in terms of giving him the captain right now, probably a little bit of a gamble. Um, the other players that, that maybe springs to mind in my eyes for being a captain I think Neil Duffin mentioned it a little while ago uh, for vice captain this is not captain because I don't think he's going to play in enough of the games but if you're talking about personality and character uh, Scott McTominay is a good player that I think maybe would be a good leader for Manchester United in the long run um, so yeah there's something we could do there I think Bruno given the captaincy makes a lot of sense 
Mattis Williams says, Will Maguire's football skills improve in prison? Well, luckily, he's got a suspended sentence, so he's not going to actually get prison time. He's not going to face any time in prison at all. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, he needs to improve his football skills regardless, doesn't he? Kabaki HD says, Hi, Pig, at this point, I think we'll only get Sancho. I agree with you, mate. This window is just literally going to uh, consist of Manchester United dawdling around for the entire window, fannying around, Edward Wood twiddling the Glazers' balls, and uh, ultimately just being able to sign one player last day of the bloody window or something. I think that's what's going to happen. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, so yeah, shout out, massive shout out to everybody that's in here. Gunga's comments, Pogba can grab the game by the scruff of the neck, but doesn't do it consistently, and he isn't all that vocal. Bruno makes more sense. Yeah, I agree exactly with that, Gungshi. He's not the most of vocal players, and he does go missing more so than a Bruno Fernandes. Certainly, since we've seen him into the, uh, at the club, he goes missing more often. He does influence games, though. He is brilliant in many games, and he has been fantastic in a handful of games uh, this season. Really, like, world class in a multi in a bunch of games um anyway guys i think i'm gonna wrap this video up, uh, up now but thank you so much to everybody that's tuned in viking red thank you very much for that pal selvam lingam shout out to you mate jk for god matt rush neil duffin legend among us matt rush again uh mrs p pink jelly bean as well shout out to you hey how's it going i haven't seen you for a while she says bruno should definitely be given the captaincy nice one pink jelly bean thank you so much for getting in here i hope you're well aaron homeyard as well jw92 Griffo, Chaz, Hayden, Alessandro, what a bunch of heroes. So come back, First Class Gamer. By the way, shout out to First Class Gamer for joining and becoming a new channel member uh, of the Bacon and Egg Brigade Tier 2 channel membership for First Class Gamer yesterday. Sorry, I missed it on the live stream. And shout out to Ryan Burberspin 9 as well. What a bloody legend. Right, that's going to be it from me right now, folks. Keep an eye out on the gaming channel. Click the link in the description, Flying Pig Game, and there's going to be some stuff coming later on on the channel. Shout out to you all for watching. Hit that like button before you go. Please do leave a little, little cheeky thumbs up. That will help us compete with some of the bigger channels on here if you enjoy what we do on this channel if you enjoy the community show some support by smashing that thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel like i say hit that subscribe button um, and click the bell icon to be notified when we go live on this channel we cover all manchester united news all major manchester united games absolutely every one of them actually watch alongs everything the lot reactions so get involved get involved it's a fantastic community of uh of football fans that we've got here and even some non-football fans who just happen to be entertained by what we do on this show so get in here get involved guys thank you for watching i'm gonna wrap it up there then come back in a minute though don't uh don't go without having your say like there's a lot of people commenting it's not easy for me to respond to everybody such as golden warrior scujo one ill united km long Everybody else, please come back, though, in a minute and comment in the not live comments, and I'll respond to you there, guys. Um, thanks to everybody that's watched. See you on the next one. Get your thoughts in after this video about Harry Maguire and his sentencing, suspended sentence, 21 months, 10 days, suspended. Get your thoughts in about that. Do you think he should be stripped of the captaincy? Who do you think the captaincy should go to? Come back in a minute and have your say. This is The Pig. I'm out. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you on the next one, and come on, United. Nice one, guys. Nice one, guys. Thank you for watching once again. This is the Patreon credits and the Tier 2 channel member credits as well. To say thanks to all the people that support the show in, the, in this way. All the names will be rolling down your list right now. So I've got a bit of a little bit of gas today, guys. Oh. In the United says, pigs always melting. Bit harsh, isn't it? <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm always melting. Maybe, you know, 60-70% of the time. But anyway, um, shout out to you all for watching, though. KZAM getting in here. Aaron Homeyard as well. Griffo Chat. Everyone, just come back and have your say, because I'm really interested to know what all of you have got to say about this one. We've got a lot of varying um opinions i think i mean look we've seen it from first class game of point of view we've seen it from gungshi's point everybody's got a different opinion on this one guys so it's so interesting get your opinions in i, I want to hear from you it's a good debate topic so thanks for watching let me know what you think about slabby Maguire. then and i will see you on the next one you've been watching flying pig united on youtube thanks for watching this is the big take it easy <laughs>